In today's video tutorial, I will show you how to make beautiful project in Irishless technique. We are working on the front side of the project. We divide our work on some parts. Make a picture in real size and pin it on the mat. Then we make cord and pins ready elements, such as leaves, flowers, make trim for them and fill it up all three places with chaotic mesh. Let's begin the work. For work you need mat, fluffy yarn, needle, scissors, pins, crochet hooks, beads, and ready elements, such as flowers, round elements and quartz leaves. Make a picture in real size and pin it on the mat. Let's begin the work. I'm going to pin the ready flower on the pattern. Tutorial 101 in crochet flowers tutorial. I pin it. Next stage I pin leaves. Next stage I will show you how to make cord on the burden. The length of the cord you determine by pattern. This is our cord. Burden is the thread in the half four times. I remind you the length of the cord you determine by pattern. Insert the hook into the loop, pull up a loop. Make single crochet around the burden. Pull a little bit. I have done the cord. In this case, I use thread in the half four times and the second cord was made of the threads in the half two times. The ready cords you should pin on the pattern. I have already pinned my cords. This is the thin cord and this one. After that I pin my round elements. How to make it you can find in tutorial 7 of crochet projects elements playlist. Now I pin my spirals. How to make such spirals? You can find in tutorial 1 Now I will show you how to make trims for the cords. Let's begin from the bottom part. Let's begin the work. I will begin from this point and work with this direction. For this I turn the work.
insert the hook into the round element, take the working loop of the throne, make a chain, make single crochet. Forms of work. Make single crochet. So continue working with single crochet. I have done single crochet. As you can see, I work it with black color. As you can see, I used fluffy yarn and make single crochet of fluffy yarn in this and here. You should make trim in the same way in the upper part of the project. I will use black color and fluffy yarn. And you should make trim in the same way in this part. I have done trims for all cords. So places of contiguity. And as you can see, I have done the chaotic mesh in some parts of the project. Now I show you how to make the chaotic mesh in this example. Let's begin the work. For this I turn the work. We continue working with chaotic mesh. Make a chain. One, two, three. Remove the hook, insert the hook into the cord, take the working loop with it through, make a chain one, two, three. Four, five, yarn over the hook and make double crochet into the chain space. I do not finish this stitch, yarn over the hook and make double crochet, not finish, then yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook. One, two, three, remove the hook, turn the work for more comfortable work, insert the hook into the cord, take the working loop, pull it through, chain one, two, three, Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the cord, make double crochet. Chain one, two, three, four. Remove the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, take the working loop of the throw. Chain one, two, three, four, yarn over the hook and double crochet into the chain space, chain one, two, three, four, five, yarn over the hook and double crochet into the chain space. Chain 
chain one, two, three. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the cord. Make double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the cord, make double crochet. So continue working in this way till this point. We have done the chaotic mesh. Now I turn the work. In this case I use grey color of yarn and continue working with chaotic mesh. Now I insert the hook into the cord, take the working loop of the throw, make a chain, one, two, three, yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the cord, make double crochet. Chain one, two, three. Remove the hook, insert the hook into the loop. Take the working loop let through, make a chain one, two, three. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, make double crochet. Chain 1, 2, 3. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the double crochet. And make double crochet. Then yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the cord. Make double crochet. Make single crochet between double crochet and chain. Chain one, two, three. And make single crochet into the cord. Turn the work. Yarn over the hook, make double crochet, then make single crochet, turn the work, one, two, Insert the hook into the chain space, make single crochet. Chain one, two, three. Remove the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, take the working loop, pull it through. Chain one, two, three. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, make double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, make double crochet, not finish. And pull through all loops on the hook. Make single crochet between stitches. Chain one, two, three. Yarn over the hook and make double crochet. Chain one, two, 
remove the hook insert the hook into the chain space take the working loop pull it through so continue working in this way till the end of the space we continue working on the chaotic mesh chain now I join a bit remove the hook take the smaller hook take a bit put it on the hook take the working loop pull it through pull up a loop Make a chain, remove the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, take the working loop, pull it through. Chain 1, 2, three. Insert the hook into the chain space, make single crochet. Pull up the working loop, chain the hook, take a bit, put it on the hook, take the working loop, pull it through, change the hook, make a chain. Make single crochet into the chain space. Chain one and single crochet. Pull up the working loop. I cut off the yarn. The chaotic mesh is ready. I remove all yarns to the back side. Let's look at our flower. As you can see, I join it to the flower on the inside of the flower. Now I show you how to fix our small elements and details. For this, I use brides. Now I show you how to make brides. I use thread and needle and with the needle go along the cord through the stitches. With the needle go through the stitch and with the needle go through the stitch of the round element with the needle go through the stitch of the round element the base of the bright is ready now wrap this base Here what we have. Continue wrapping. It's enough. With a needle go through the stitches of the cord. The bright is ready. Other yarn I remove along the cord. The project is ready and you can retouch the project from the mat. And remove all yarns on the back side. I removed all yarns and let's take a look at the back side. And it is front. Today we have learned how to make beautiful project in Irish lace technique. For this project I used different colors of yarn, cords, mat 
and crochet hook. Don't miss our new video tutorials on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.